You know, normally I open these episodes with a sarcastic or snarky quip, but I don't think now's the time. Hey there guys, my name is Nix and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Last time we came through the Keyblade Graveyard and, well, stopped before we got here. And then I did everything that I needed to. Speaking of doing everything I need to, you've kindly told me that Aqua has, like, like specifically Aqua has um, some... Like, I was gonna say post game, that's not the right word to use. There's like an additional extra bit at the end of this game for Aqua. And that uh, I need, probably should go and look up what I need to do in order to unlock said secret ending. There's the term I was looking for. As far as I'm aware, because I've played on proud difficulty, what I need are all of Xehanort's reports, which I think I've got because I've got all the boxes and things. And I, as, that was the other requirement, like, I got on all the stickers and completed them to max with everyone. So, yeah, I think I will unlock it after I complete Aqua's story, but if not, well, I've got to go back to the internet. Anyway, enough of all of this. As Aqua cartwheels down this hallway that we've seen at least three times now. Let's see what happens when we beat the shit out of... I think it's break, but whatever. I was told the master was struck down. <laughs> yes, that's right. I was stupid and helped saying or do it. <laughs> the master, he tried to hurt Ben. I only fought because I wanted to protect him. But I was tricked. Xehanort set the whole thing up. Also, he could awaken the darkness inside me. You were right, Aqua. And so was the Master. I did need to be watched. I went astray. But no more. What else is darkness but hate and rage? Xehanort is feeding the dark fires within you, making you fight. You'll go astray again. Tell me, how does that honor our master's memory, Terra? Xehanort wants me and Benitez to fight. Make some kind of keyblade. But the Master said we can't let that happen. And he tried to destroy me for it. Keyblade? I still don't know exactly what it is. But it scares me to death. Even just the thought of it. Relax, man. We're here, and we're gonna take care of you. I may have to fight Vanitas after all. If I do, guys... I, I want you to... The three of us can never be torn apart, alright? I'll always find a way. asking you as a friend just put an end to me
lifeless keys used to be full of power. United with the hearts of their masters. On this barren soil, key blades of light and darkness were locked in combat. As a great keyblade war raged, countless keyblade wielders gave up their lives, all in search of one ultimate key. And it will soon belong to me. Keyblade! <laughs> This cutscene of work are so much better if I wasn't wielding Pixie Petal. Boy, Mickey's here. Even though we thought he was dead. How about you leave the popsicle with me? So you can go have your little fight with Terra. Uh. You can't be too happy about him deep sixing your master. <laughs> Who are you? You think you two have got some grand role to play? As if. You're only here so that when I finish you off, Terra will succumb to the darkness. So, who wants to go first? Shut up! Oh, so this kiddo thinks he's a full-fledged Keyblade wielder. He's got the angry look down. Go ahead if you want to waste your time. Keep trying to drive us apart with your mind games. It'll never work. How about my guns? My guns will probably drive you apart. Uh, uh, Terra will prove to you he's stronger! Uh, Aqua! Defeat Brag! Because of course it's fucking Brag! Oh, he's got some new moves. fight with terror except it's easy still it's still as easy oh no wait never mind oh okay this is new break can you stop
Oh, yep, this is, um... Can't guard those, should just run. Okay. I still have break time equipped! Ow, 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 come on. I'm gonna just go and uh, remove break time before we go on with this. One of you pointed out that Brake's eyes changed color. And, well, to be fair, technically you pointed out that his eyes have changed color. And I had a bit of a giggle to myself and says, don't you mean I? <laughs> because Terra slashed the other one out. But that's just me being sort of sick in my humor. Yeah, apparently that's because, like, Xehanort has possessed him or something. Ow, 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 Wow, I missed time that horribly. Ben, I know you're dead, but do us a favor. Yeah, this is the attack I can't dodge. This is, this is, oh, okay, they stay in the floor. That's, um, infinitely more dangerous. Man, if he hits you with that and you're trying to combo him to death, he just wrecks your shit, doesn't he? Okay, that doesn't affect him. Oh, come on, I tried to press barrier. I only tried to press barrier because I know I've got my healing barrier on. Ray, can you not teleport in front of me? Right, since this is like, I need, I need to look where I'm running since I can run into those. My god, thankfully he ran into the mine. No, 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 no! Oh wow, I killed him by countering him. But I've got a HP boost, which means we're not nearly done, are we? Careful, fuckface, I'll take your other eye out. Don't mess with Keyblade wielders. But you know what? That just means I made the right choice. Well, he wanted me to buy time, and I'd say he got it. What? I'm asking you, as a friend, just put an end to me. Gosh, I'm glad you're okay. Oh, fucking hell. It's you. Oh shit, that's the Keyblade. Oh. Huh. oh, that's Xehanort's influence! Nice save, Mickey. His heart has become a part of mine now. <gasps> this Keyblade will open a door. One that leads to all worlds. Then, Keyblade-bearing warriors will flock here, from each and every one of them, to battle for the light within Kingdom Hearts. And just like the legend says, the Keyblade War will begin. Shut up! I'm sick of your nonsense. Give Ben his heart back.
Team up with Mickey. Didn't he defeat Vanitas and break his hold over Ventus? But like... Didn't... Didn't Ven beat Ventus in his heart? Or is that like something... Because that... Oh, come on, we're doing the Ventus... Uh, Ventus. The Venitas fight for a third time as, as Aqua. Really? Except this time I don't have... Well, that's um, more fire. Yep, this is um, about as effective as I remember it being. Never mind, quite effective. Oh, that's um that's a ice beat. That's ice. That's not fire anymore. That's just ice and beams and death and lots of hurt. Yeah, he just comes out of there with fire. Also, the music that's playing right now is phenomenal. It's just like a remix version of the title theme, which I really should learn the name of. I'd rather not suffer if you don't mind, Benitas. Ow. Oh, I actually got the teleport thing off. I figured I might be. Oh, what's the... Uh, whatever it was, he just downed Mickey. And uh, Mickey's back up now, so, like... Why, we, why was I even worrying? I just ran to the edge as soon as I saw he's doing a thing. Is that a delayed reaction to Mickey getting hit? If so, it was pretty fucking late. He's not very good. He's not nowhere near as good as dodging as he once was. I'd rather not, if you don't mind. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Could you not? Yes, thank you, Mickey, for getting up again. Surprisingly effective. I was gonna say, I don't like the look of that. It's just him going under the floor again, isn't it? I kind of wish I had like... Well, I was gonna say, I kind of wish that worked faster, I guess, is the thing I was wanting to say there. Well, the second Vanitas fight was difficult. I don't know why I did so well at that one. Come on, Van, beat him with your heart. I know you're doing battle in there. Giving up already? I didn't actually expect that to work, you know. You're just wasting your energy. What? Wait, so is Aqua the one that split that in two, or...?
Because it's clearly, as I've said before, it's clearly just two kingdom keys sell the tape together. But. <laughs> Aqua, what have you done? There, there are keys everywhere! Well, Aqua definitely broke the Keyblade. Obtain Xehanort's Report 7. Where am I? Yen Sid's tower by the looks of the colouring of the floor. Aqua, you lost consciousness. Fortunately, Mickey found you and Ventus drifting in the lanes between and brought you back to me to receive proper care. I am sorry, but there was no sign of terror. I see. Ven. Ventus. The boy's heart is sleeping. When will he wake? I could not say. It is almost as though his heart has left. Should it return, he may very well wake. Should it not, then he may sleep like this for all eternity. No. His heart is... L I'll keep him safe. Until he wakes. Forever if I have to. So if his heart is Every left, does that mean... Friend needs right I kind of want to talk, but... It is not your protection. I'll go over some thoughts when he's done talking. He needs you to believe. You see, Ventus's heart hangs in the balance. It sleeps in the place between light and darkness. From all I can perceive, that means he will be looking for a friend, one who believes in him, to show him the way home. Just as long as you love him, then Ventus will be able to find you when he wakes. He can follow that love back to where he belongs. The Realm of Light. Oh. Don't you worry, Aqua. I believe in Ben, too. Gosh, he's been as good a friend to me as anybody. And if both you and me believe in him with all our hearts, and he'll have two lights to follow instead of one. <laughs> Three lights. Terra. But Terra's gone. Maybe for good. Also, Terra's kind of evil. I think I know how to find him. <clears throat> so yeah that's the end of Aqua's story couple points I wanted to bring up that they mentioned well not not in the order that they happened but they said Ventus hangs like he has no heart or his heart is left or whatever is he technically in a nobody state then <laughs> because I'm pretty sure that they are just people without hearts except you know they're conscious uh just me thinking out loud and wishing more nobodies would show because they were the most interesting people in this game. Not game, franchise. Um, B, there was the moment where, like, Aqua looked at her Wayfinder and was like, give me strength, and her Keyblade glowed. Was it my imagination or did that vaguely resemble Oathkeeper when it, like, glowed and came and... Which, where she used it to break the key, the keyblade. 
Man, these words are hard, and these sentences will barely make any sense to people who don't really understand the game. Kind of like me, but... <laughs> no, I have a vague idea. You left me... Um... Again, it was... Keyblade Wielder again, who... Bless you, you keep leaving comments on everything, and I thank you for this, but you explained to me why... The Keyblade chose Sora instead of Riku, and why that exists, really. Which, thank you, I still c I now have a vague understanding. It's still, like, ridiculous, in my opinion, like, that we have this whole concept. And it's arguably incredibly difficult to follow, but... Eh. Maybe we should pick up the manga. Maybe... Maybe... I might have a, I might have an easy time if it's a book. Ah, uh, me thinking out loud and hoping the rest of the manga is as good as the, uh, 358 one. But, yeah. Aqua... I like Aqua. And I don't just mean, like, because I feel like she's the strongest one of the three. But, yeah. So, she seems a bit bland, but I like Aqua. I like giving... I like giving her a personality that she's full of... That she doesn't take shit because she's so powerful. It's just like, yeah, I'll fuck you up. I don't even care. Say, you know what? I'm coming for you, and you better give me Terra back. We need to be three so I can ship those two together. Oh, hey, Sora. You'll be important later, probably. I want to see if you actually do anything else in this game or whether we just awaken Riku and Kairi. And there's our dead master. Us. Whose name escapes me at the moment, but all I remember is it's Mark Hamill, so... Oh, and there's these three idiots. Two of, One of which is not dead, because I'm pretty sure Xehanort still occupies his body. Uh, Ventus... Oh, maybe Ventus dies and his heart is moved on to Sora or something stupid. Aqua... I don't know where she is in the plot later on. I'm assuming she doesn't die. Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. We're done with Aqua Story, except we're not. So, let's see if I can do anything here. The Seeker. Most used dealing. Yep, because vent. Because all I do is use vent. Excuse me. Because the most used D-Link I use is just Ventus to heal. Also, like, Aquas took me like an hour and a half shorter, I'm pretty sure. Report complete, 56%. But I got all the chests and things, so... Surely that's what matters. Surely. Save complete. Be sure to hang on to this. Sure, t sure thing. Okay, and this brings us back to the title screen. So, I want to go to the... Uh, did that say I have a new option in a new game? No, that was me hallucinating. Never mind. So, I want to go to the secret reports and... Read... All of these, considering I have them all. I don't. Where's report number five? Oh... Fuck. Where's Xehanort's report 5? Hold on, let me consult the internet. Okay, so I'm here with Terra because, you know, makes sense that I missed it with him, I guess. Because apparently, yeah, the Xehanort's report I needed is in the arena. Yeah, I didn't think that makes much sense either, but you know what? Here we are, so... We get to see Terra again in all of his old penis. If we ignore the fact that I said penis in that sentence, you know what? We would have been okay, but I brought it up, so... Eh? Also, I, did, I, did, I did completely forgot that Terra actually obtained Blade Charge throughout his adventure. Love the fact that they all ran into me for that.
Can I just point out, I like how I went from, oh, Sonic Blade in Kingdom Hearts 1 is not very good, but that's because I never used it properly. And now here I am in, like, future games being like, this is one of the best moves ever made, ever. And here we are with the boss I apparently have to kill. The Steel Sentinel, when it finally shows up. Hey look, it's that thing in a pot that I fought once before, I'm pretty sure. If I also remember, this kind of wrecked it last time. Well, I mean, it's definitely more powerful. Not too powerful, though. I win! I mean, to be fair, there wasn't much challenge, so I didn't do the block thing, but... There we go! Xehanort's Report 5! Profiler! And I did some things. Now, in theory, if I leave... Also, yeah, I died Terra's armor hot pink because why the hell not? Yay, I've got the final episode! To play, you first need to create special save data. Okay, yeah, I was just missing this and then I can go and do the thing. So I'll create that now. Okay. To begin the final episode, choose continue with the title screen and load the save data you've just created. Bitchin'. I'm going to load that file up next time, because I'm pretty sure what I want to do now, uh, if I work my menus properly. Yes, secret reports are now Mickey Mouse in, out, I don't know. We've got all of the, the letters and things, so I'm going to sit here and read them for the rest of the, rest of the video. So, if you don't really want to listen to me read, arguably very badly, you can feel free to tune out here. I won't be mad. Anyway, let's start with Xehanort's letter. Please accept my deepest gratitude for the invitation to witness your pupil's ascension to the office of true Keyblade Master. It was a heavy mantle our master placed upon your shoulders in naming you successor, but you have nonetheless persevered and raised two masters yourself. Interesting. They were raised by the same master. I know it cannot have been easy. I did you terrible harm in the past over a petty difference in opinion, and just a few years ago selfishly thrust my own burdens upon you. That is he referring to, um... I think he's referring there to the key... When he said he wanted the keyblade for himself, and Ericus tried to stop him. Anyway, I'm just gonna take a drink. I think of you like a younger brother, and yet, fool that I am, I have never re availed myself countless opportunities to apologize or thank you for it, for opening your home to the boy. Yet, not once have you blamed me. On the contrary, here you are inviting me to such an important ceremony. I intend to be there to offer you all my blessings. Our master chose his heir wisely. Ours is a bizarrely ironic task, to watch over the light from the shadows, but in the face of the light, but in face of that, the warmth in your heart and unfailing dis dedication to the light impresses me to no end. I've taken to wandering the world and seen much darkness hiding in the light. Lately, I fear it has taken a turn for the worse. Perhaps Yen Sid has already told you of the unversed. These fledgling emotions are derived from negativity, and I can now sense their presence in nearly every world. And on the topic of darkness, we must speak of another matter that concerns me. One related to the upcoming ceremony. When I visited several years ago, your pupil terror drew my attention. His power is immense to be sure, but within his heart I could see darkness just waiting to be awakened. I know this is none of my business, but I have reservations about welcoming terror as the true Keyblade Master without taking certain precautions. The traditional exam, perhaps, to see if he has the mark of mastery? The choice is yours, and I will humbly respect your decision. Take care. I eagerly await our long overdue reunion. 
Much time has passed since I left the home of my youth behind, and in the myriad worlds I have since visited, I have gained much knowledge. On these pages I intend to record a portion of that knowledge, and put the course of my life to paper. Upon reflection, my life underwent the most considerable sea change when I arrived at that place. Yes, it was. It began when I found a master and another I would later call my brother, where I found a new home. Then there was the Keyblade. For what purpose was it begotten, and by whom? Keyblade or... never mind. I assume it would write Key, if it was talking about the Keyblade. During my trailing as one of its wielders, the... the... Pre press... precepts? Precepts? During... During my training as one of its wielders, the precepts offered a clear answer. The Keyblade exists so that we who watched over the light could protect the world from the shadows. But what was the true answer? Could there be nothing more to it than that? My heart sought knowledge, and so I sometimes visited other worlds. Though such travel was forbidden unless duty was required, and found what my heart sought. Our master instructed us to don armor while training, traveling between worlds so that we might shield ourselves from the darkness. But there, in the lanes between, I could feel the force of it, the power, and from there on I, I forwent my armor's protection. I have been told the darkness would devour me, but what terrors could it possibly hold so long as I found strength to control it? The world is vast, and the worlds within the great... The world is vast and the worlds within the greater world, uncountable. Like little islands, they dot a great ocean between which keeps them ignorant of each other, uncorrupted. Each world has its own order. Unlike us, they could, they could not know of the world in its entirety, and we, could never to and we were never to enlighten them. In ancient times, no such buffers were kept between the large, no such buffers kept the larger world divided. There were no walls of light enclosing each smaller world the way they do today. Nothing prevented one from physically interfering with the next. At that time the world was filled with light and a great many Keyblade wielders, but without buffers the worlds began to squabble over the ownership of light. You see, they learned of the Keyblade's true power. War broke out as each one of the Keyblade wielders struggled to lay claim to an almighty entity known as Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts could be described as an aggregate of hearts. Worlds, too, have hearts, just like people. Each world's heart is concealed from sight beyond a hidden door. By gathering all the hearts of all the worlds in a single place, one may complete Kingdom Hearts. So, did Xehanort do that on his own off-screen or something? Because Kingdom Hearts was in the sky during our battle. Like, I assume that was... Because I know we got Terra to release Alter Faces Soul. Aurora, he released Aurora's Heart, not Soul. God, there are so many weird technical terms. But yeah, Terra released Aurora's Soul. No, released Aurora's Heart. So yeah, Terra released Aurora's Heart, but when, I don't know whether he collected the other hearts to summon Kingdom Hearts, because that's what he did in Kingdom Hearts 1. He collected the seven princesses of light. But, I don't know. And when Kingdom Hearts is completed, it's said the one who opens the door will bring about the creation of the next world. Such, is a feat is, such a feat is above any human. Let's put it a different way. Whoever opens that door will be re reborn as something far greater than human. Light and darkness are two sides of the same coin. Without darkness, there is no light. The Keyblade wielder's great war over Kingdom Hearts was fought by defenders of the light. Servants of darkness, those who sought to reconcile the two, and those motivated by nothing more than a lust for power. A whole spectrum of thought was swept into the conflict, and the worlds that did not go to war found the war brought to them. Let me read that again. A whole spectrum of thought was swept into the conflict, and the worlds that did not go to war found the war brought to them. In the end, the, wor the whole world was cast into darkness. That, is, that was how the ancient Keyblade War drew to a close. To this day, no one has ever managed to open the door to Kingdom Hearts. Sometime later, the little light that remained in the hearts of the few gave rise to the world we know today, one made of many worlds behind just as many walls, so that the Keyblade War would not be repeated. 
At present, the lanes and corridors that run between the worlds may only be traversed by us Keyblade wielders and those who have given themselves over to darkness. As the former, our duty is to cross the, ch the chasms between worlds and guard against the latter, whose darkness corrupts and contaminates, so that, the so that no world ever need be lost again. Few Keyblade wielders remain now. I have heard but a handful of others outside of- I have heard- I have heard of but a- I have heard of but a f handful of others outside my circle. It took me fucking like three attempts to say that, Jesus. But the world is vast and many more of our and more of our kind may be out there. Now in addition to the realm of light w in which we reside, there is also a realm of darkness and the realm between which connects the two. The realm of darkness is most forbidden. I am told none who set foot there have ever returned. There are three families of keel bl keel blades. <laughs> there are three families of keyblades. The keyblades of light we wield, keyblades of darkness, and keyblades of heart. The first and second families differ only in origin. Keyblades of darkness are found in the realm of darkness and are counterparts to the keyblades we use in the realm of light. The third type of key, the Keyblade of Heart, came into existence when the world was reorganized after the Keyblade War. Without this key, Kingdom Hearts is forever beyond the person's reach. Only by gathering together seven hearts of pure light, hearts completely devoid of darkness, may one forge a key of, forge a key of heart and open the door to Kingdom Hearts. And, as st stated before, opening this door arguably gives the person gives that person control over all worlds and all people. My brain went, is that when we forged Oathkeeper? But I don't think it is. I'm sure we got Oathkeeper after we rescued Kairi, but that's all by the by. I have uncovered the Keyblade's ultimate mystery. You see, besides the three families of Keyblades, there is another Keyblade. While it may sound the same when spoken, it is noted uniquely. Keyblade. I make no mistake, while it resembles a normal Keyblade, it is something altogether different. Keyblades are said to be man-made counterparts to Kingdom Hearts. The Keyblade, however, coexists with Kingdom Hearts. It is only forged when two hearts of equal power intersect, one, of, one heart of pure darkness and one of pure light. At the time of its forging, Kingdom Hearts appears. It must be noted, though, that this Kingdom Hearts is special. Unlike the, kingdom, unlike the kingdoms brought about forcibly and artificially through the collection of hearts, this Kingdom Heart is a perfect and complete union of all the world's hearts. So just to make matters more complex, there is more than one Kingdom Hearts. There's the, I hate to say, there's the knockoff Kingdom Hearts, and then there's the pure Kingdom Hearts. And, because, you know, we need more, we need more... We need more Kingdom Hearts. Which, I guess, is a true statement. Surely it was over this... Surely it was over this that the ancient Keyblade War was fought. If so, the walls that divide the worlds today are little consequence. With the Keyblade, all their hearts could be instantly reunited. And the Keyblade War refought. Why do you want this Keyblade War to start again? Like... Did something happen during the first one that you want to witness again or something? I don't know. Do you want just... this? Do you just want to watch the world burn, Xehanort? I'm starting to feel like that's the case. My brother pupil Ericus thinks this is... My brother pupil Ericus thinks only in absolutes. He has persuaded himself that light is the only way, but forgets that light cannot coexist without shadow. I believe in a balance of light and darkness is what sustains our world, but too much of the darkness has been stamped out, disrupting that balance. Someone must tear down this tyranny of light and reorganize the world around the darkness which then creeps back in. Ericus and I did not see eye to eye. I left and wandered the world. This was perhaps the first time I felt truly free since the day I departed my boyhood home. But free to do what? I had already shown the mark of... I have already shown the mark and become a Keyblade Master, but having, pa but having been passed over as a successor, all that remained was the road of teacher. Ordinarily, Keyblade Masters take pupils under their wings, malle malleable minds in which to impress the precept 
the precepts of Keyblade Wielder and keep our profession alive for generations to come. Was my time drawing to an end then, after all I had accomplished since casting away the place of my birth? Surely waiting for a quiet death would not do, not when there was still much I needed to see for myself. Powers helped me, I thought. My body is so old. We Keyblade Masters have a special gift. We can extract a heart, be it our own or that of another. By continuing this cycle, it is possible to remain in the world of the living forever. As a boy, I dreamed of seeing the farthest reaches of the world. If only, if I only went far enough, there had been, a, there had to be a world out there in which no one had ever been, ever before set foot. And now I know of just such a world. If I become the first to open Kingdom Hearts' door, I can create the next world in which light and darkness exist in perfect equilibrium. So there I stood with vast knowledge in one gnarled, dying hand a newfound purpose in the other. The next step was clear. I needed a new vessel. At, at that time was when I met Ventus and made him my pupil. We were destined to meet and I could sense the potential within him, but the boy was too benign for his own good. I came to the conclusion he was too frail to serve as a vessel and decided to use him for a second purpose I had in mind. I would remove the darkness from his heart and split him in two. Then I would have a heart of pure light and a heart of pure darkness. So, he created, he split Ven's heart in two, the light heart and the dark half. <laughs> light heart, dark heart. And he split them in two with the intent of creating the Keyblade. As to be expected, Ventus lacked the constitution for such an ordeal. I was able to remove the darkness inside him and create Venetus, a heart of pure darkness. But Ventus drifted in the clutches of sleep. Ventus's heart of pure light and Venetus's heart of pure darkness. If both could be made strong enough to the one day clash, I knew the Keyblade would be forged. But Venetus took too much from Ven too much of Ventus's heart, and from that fracture, I could see the last of Ventus's light slipping away. The boy deserved a place to spend his final moments peacefully, and what and what should come to his mind but my own boyhood home? My legs took me there. My legs took me there unbidden, and, I, and as I stood there on the same beach where I made my, my choice so many years ago, I thought, not a single thing had changed. Here in this quiet world, time marches in place. Content that Ventus would find his peace here, I started to walk away, but then the boy held up the, his keyblade. The light within him had not died, so he took him to the Destiny Islands. Ventus and Venetus were not matched in power. I could not train them together, or, Ven or Venetus' darkness would gnaw away what little Ventus had. Of course, since I needed a place where the boy's light might flourish, the answer was obvious. Ericus and his absolutes. Considering how we parted ways, I expected friction, but if anything, Ericus seemed delighted to see me again. He readily, readily agreed to take care of Ventus. Now I need only wait for the boy's heart to get stronger. I had not visited this second home of mine for some time and discovered Ericus had already found two pupils of his own. Within one of them, Terra, I sensed something. The boy, though well-intentioned, seeks power single-mindedly, and that kind of hunger is the seedbed for darkness. I had found my vessel. The time has come. I have received word from Ericus that his pupils are to become true Keyblade Masters, Terra and Aqua. This will be easy to lure out they will be easy to lure out to they will be easy now to lure into the outside world. But Ventus I will get nowhere without him. Venetus can feel some of what Ventus feels, and he says terror is the key. Ventus had loved terror like a real brother ever since he left let him keep these old wooden keyblade. It seems we have found a loose thread at which we can tug on It seems we have found a loose thread at which we can tug on to unravel Ventus's heart. The first step is to get terror alone. Then we need to plant the seeds of doubt in Ventus. Let him carry let him carry his faint light as he chases his brother into darkness. Let the darkness make his light stronger. And let the light deepen the darkness. And where the two finally meet is where the stuff of legends will become real. So these were these just detail all of Xehanort's 
I had no- I was gonna- I had the word for it and then the word left my head. Xehanort's intentions and motives. There we go. As to why he did everything. I just wanna have a quick look at the timeline again real quick. I'm just looking at this thinking, man, Aqua took a long time to get anywhere, didn't she? Dwarf Woodlands, Chance of Dominion. He popped to the tower and then the graveyard. Everyone went to Radiant Garden for a little bit. Everyone went to Disney Town. Then Vem went to the Coliseum. Oh, Vem went before Terra. Interesting. And at the same time, he was in space. Yeah, the thing that confuses me is like, how did Ven fit this in before Aqua? Because Aqua left Deep Space and then went to Netherland. What was she doing in this time? It's uh, It just doesn't make sense to me, but hell, what do I know? And of course, she just missed Terror and Destiny Islands. Okay, I'm just looking at thing like the Badlands and the Keyblade Graveyard are the same thing. Also, now this shows this weird ass picture of Terra. Yeah, so I have to load up this final episode in order to carry on. Oh, and it carries over Aqua stats. Cool. But with that, I'm leaving this episode here. Thank you guys for watching this part of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. You've told me you last episode you think I have about three episodes left. Really, all it comes down to is how long this final episode's going to take me. If it takes me two episodes, it'll take me two episodes. If I can fit it into one, I'll try. But, uh, I don't know. Anyway, we'll come to that when we get there. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this part of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. If you like the video in any capacity, give the video a like down below. Leave a comment on, I don't know. You've all been saying you're pretty hyped for this final episode, so... I'm getting pretty hype on it myself. I'm I'm waiting for the epic Aqua vs. Terranaut showdown. Because that's obviously what's coming. But And I just have to take Terranaut down. I hope to god he's not as difficult as the first time. When I had to fight him as Terra's lingering will. Because my god that was... That was just... That went on to the point where it was unfun. But I'm... I, I just really hope it's not that bad. Anyway, if you like the vid, I was to say, I did the likes, I did the comments, and then I go off on a rant, and then I ask you to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this. Even though we're nearly done, Recoded is coming soon, as is Virtue's Last Reward. Be because, damn straight, I'm not leaving that franchise alone until I'm done with it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I've been Nyx. And as I slap myself around the chest, as flailing my hands around, I, trying to do an outro. I will see you guys next time. Laters! Go, go, Keyblade Rangers!